Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday's TRX class. I will be leading you guys with the TRX workout today. Um, I'm hoping that this lighting situation is working. I'm trying to turn on more lights in this corner. Um, hopefully you guys can see me. Um, if you can't see me, then definitely leave a message in the box and I will see if I can change location somewhere, okay? So for this, you will need a suspension strap like this. If you don't have a suspension strap, then absolutely don't worry about it because a lot of the movements that we do with TRX can absolutely be done with just your body weight as well. So I will give you modifications for that. Um, and a lot of the movements are going to be our standard movements that we're going to use the TRX to um, support the movement with. Okay, so you don't have to have that. If you do have it, then make sure you have it on a strong, sturdy door. I'm not sure if this door is super strong and sturdy, but let's hope it is, okay? Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We are going to start. I would, um, I love starting all of my workouts with setting an intention for the day or for the workout. So as we go through the warm up, I want you to kind of think about the intention you want to set for this workout, okay? So let's go ahead and start with some warm up. What we're going to do is we're going to go into some T spine rotations. So we're going to be here, palms are right in front of you. You are going to keep the hips where they're at and you're going to rotate. So that's one side. Nice proud chest. Breathe in and breathe out. get a little bit of a nice stretch in the sides of our torso. So what you're going to do, you're going to reach across as the opposite one reaches on the, to the opposite way. So you wanna feel a nice little stretch in that lat area, okay? So reach, bring it back down, switch sides, bring it back down. Let's do a few more. One more on each side, okay? Reach, bring it back down, reach, bring it back down. All right, we're gonna um, warm up our shoulders a little bit because we are gonna be working with our back. So we're definitely gonna be using these guys. So we wanna make sure we're nice and loose here. So what you're going to do is you're gonna have one arm overhead, the opposite one's gonna be down. You're going to rotate, keeping the thumbs up. So you see how my torso is the only thing that rotates? Breathe as you rotate. And reverse the movement. So go the other way now. And relax. All right. Um, we're just gonna bounce in place to kind of get our heart rate up and to get us really warmed up. 
so we can go and use these straps okay so what we're gonna do is if you don't like bouncing if you feel like it bothers your knee then you can try just stepping okay and if you are gonna bounce we're not bouncing hard we're just having very soft impact okay so each time you hit the ground softly you want to breathe out so I like to use our breath work as our tempo because when we go here that's what's gonna help us with when, when we have more resistance okay so here we go Ten more seconds. Woo! All right. Um, I forgot to tell you guys that you might need your mat for this. If you don't have a mat, then that is absolutely fine. If you are comfortable, um, you will need water if you want and a towel. So make sure you grab that, okay? All right, so the first movement we're going to do, I'm actually gonna adjust these straps. So if you have straps, I want you to bring them down a little bit lower, okay? Because we're gonna be on the ground for the first two movements. So we want these at about, um, like right at that bottom of our kneecap, okay? That's the height we want it at. So push. Bring it down. Make sure they're in line. There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my camera onto this side so you guys have a better angle to see me, okay? So let me do that. And then I'll probably bring it back here, but I had it set up to where I'm able to move it in two places. Here we go. All right, so the first movement, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into some hip extensions. So we want to be extended, okay? So we're gonna have our foot inside of the strap, so where that soft part is, okay? Right where the heel is. We're gonna lay down. You're gonna extend the knees so they're not gonna be bent. And all you're going to do without touching the door, you're going to drive that hip up, bring it back down, control that core. So you wanna you wanna make sure that you bring air into your belly and you are tightening everything up as you're going up and back down okay now if you don't have the straps perfectly fine what you can do is elevate yourself on against say against like the door just like this and bridge your way up okay so same thing and then we're gonna do one round of this and then I'm gonna show you guys the second movement. We're gonna do a second round of that and then we're gonna repeat both of those as a super set, okay? Again, go at your own pace. If you need to take a break, take a break. So here we go. I'm gonna put my ankles in this. away from the door. Here we go, big air in the belly, contract your glutes, contract your core, tight core. So where you should be feeling this is right behind your legs and your glutes, okay?
do two more. We're going for 12. And relax. All right, the second movement. I'm actually gonna try to move this because fi I'm finding it might be better to move me here. That way you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. I think this might be the winning spot, you guys. Maybe. All right. So the next movement is going to be a, a glute bridge to an extension, okay? So if you don't have the strap, all you're going to do is you're going to bridge up and down, okay? So we're extending using this. So we're gonna be bridging and elongating our legs. But if you don't have a strap, you can just bridge up with your knees bent, okay? So if you do have a strap, what you're gonna do is you're going to go into a hamstring curl. So up, curl, back down. Okay, so you're gonna go into a bridge, you're gonna curl, and you're gonna come back down, all right? So it's two movements. And again, go at your own pace. Here we go. So bridge, curl. That's two. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. And relax. Ooh wee, my hamstrings are on fire. So take a minute, grab your water if you need to. Reconnect with your breath. And we are going to go into that two more times, okay? So again, if you don't have straps, perfectly fine. Um, you are also more than welcome to elevate your feet on top of a chair or a couch and then bridge up. That's gonna help you activate the hamstrings a little bit more versus when you do the bridge with um, your feet on the ground, okay? So you can grab a chair, Put it just like that. You're on the ground and you're gonna bring this hip up while the heels are on the chair, okay? Whichever is fine. Um, like I said, a lot of these with, a lot of the movements with TRX are traditional movements, which is great. So um, there's a lot of alternatives for them, okay? Here we go. So we're gonna go back into those extensions first and then we're gonna go into the bridge and curls. Okay, so these are just the bridges, the long lever bridges. So extend yourself long, shoulders are down and back, abs are tight, so big air in the belly, and then contract, okay? That's gonna keep your spine nice and neutral and safe. Two more. And relax. Take a break if you need to. We're gonna go into those bridge to hamstring curls, okay? So same thing. Go 
going to that bridge and curl those heels towards your hip. You can bring the big bridge down and then curl, or you can keep the bridge up and, and, and just keep curling, okay? Or you can alternate. That's probably what I'll do. Maybe alternate. Four more. Ooh-wee. That is a burn. All right, let's take our rest and recover. Let your heart rate back down. Let that, that soreness feeling mellow down a little bit. And we will do that one more time. Um, again, it's important to rest and recover versus just boom, 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 going because we tend to move better when we allow our bodies to rest and recover, bring our heart rate down, um, get back into the breath, the tempo of our breath. It helps us do the movement for the next round so much more efficiently, okay? So here we go. In about 10 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and set up. Again, if you don't have the straps, perfectly fine. Keep your feet on the ground and bridge up. Keep your feet up on top of a couch and bridge up. Up to you. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. One. Here we go. We're going to be on the floor. Extend your leg, okay? So it's important for your lower back to not take over for you to really contract here. So bring that rib down towards your belly button, okay? That's going to help you um, push your spine against the ground. And that's basically you having a neutral spine. Big air, tighten up the core. Squeeze the glutes, drive up. Two more. And relax. Take a few seconds and we are going to go into our extension and then our curl. Again, remember, if you don't have the strap, perfectly fine for you to start your feet on the ground and just bridge up. If you want to modify that or maybe intensify that a little bit more, you can lift one leg up Push it against the door and drive that hip up, okay? So you don't have to have the strap if you don't have one or if you don't want to use one. All right, so here we go. We're gonna, so we're gonna go into the bridge, extend, extended bridge and then the curl, okay? Here we go. Drive that hip up, hold. Curl. So bring those heels towards your hip, back down, hip up, back down. And if you are on the floor without the straps, make sure you pause at the top of that bridge, okay?
Bridge up first before you curl. Let's do two more, you guys. And relax. Go ahead and sit up. Go ahead and get reconnected to your breath. Remember the importance of um, rest and recovery. So this is that time you're gonna get back to your breath, get back into the center of things. Let some of that burning sensation that you might have calm down. Great time to grab some water. Hello, Roxy. Welcome. If you are joining us, Roxy, we're gonna go ahead and start our second movement. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you that um, if you don't have suspension straps, perfectly fine. I will give you modifications to do some of the movements without the straps, okay? Because essentially a lot of the movements we do with straps, the foundation is on the basic foundational movements, all right? So here we go. The next movement we are going to do is going to be a row series. So I'm gonna bring this up. All right, so what we're going to do so I'm gonna give you two, two movements uh, for people who have the straps and for people who don't have the straps. I have two, yay, glad you do. All right, so then we will, you will do it with me since I have the straps as well. All right, so we're gonna go into this row series, okay? Now with a row, whether it's with a strap, without a strap, we wanna always make sure that we bring our shoulder blades down away from the ears, okay? So we tend to be like this a lot of time. Bring them down, down, down. You wanna really think, push them down, and then you wanna pull, okay? When you're pulling, I always want you to think you're pulling with your shoulder blades, okay? And you're pulling those shoulder blades together and squeezing an imaginary pencil in between the shoulder blades, okay? I know a lot of times we tend to go into these really, really active upper traps. I know we all have them. I definitely have them, especially during this quarantine when we've been sitting at home a lot. So it's really important you push them down and then you pull. That's gonna give you the best bang for your buck, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into these um, rows with the strap. We're gonna hold it at a neutral grip. Um, we are going to do a series where we're gonna pull and we're gonna do five reps. Fifth rep, we're gonna hold and then we're gonna go down the ladder. So we're gonna do five reps, hold for five seconds, four reps, hold for four seconds, three reps, hold for three seconds, and so on, okay? Hold it at a neutral grip. Again, if you're standing taller, the movement will be a little bit easier. As you go down lower and lower, the movement will be harder. If you're on your heels, I will not be on my heels here because the floor here is um, uh, fairly new and so it's a little bit slippery and more than likely I will probably slip. I'm gonna take my socks off and see if that helps. No, maybe not. So, here we go. So let's go down to the position that you are most comfortable with. Shoulders are down and back. Bring your chest proud against the ceiling. Rib is down towards the belly button. Squeeze your glutes. Drive. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Imaginary pencil. One. Look, go all the way back. So full extension. Pull. Two. Let the elbow stop at that torso, okay? So you're not overextending. Three. Four. And we're gonna hold for five, four shoulders are down. Squeeze, three, two, one, keep going. If you need to take a break, take a break. If you don't, keep going with me. 
We're gonna go into four reps. Two, three, four, hold for four seconds. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna go for three reps here. One, two, three, hold for three seconds. Three, two, one. Two more reps here. One, two, hold for two seconds. And last one. And relax. Now, for anybody who is doing this without straps, I'm sorry, I actually forgot to go through that. You can absolutely go into imaginary rows, okay? All you're really doing is you are contracting. Pretend like you're pulling something. The position is gonna be the same, okay? Chest is pressed, shoulders are down. You're pulling with the shoulder blades, elbows are tucked in, okay? It's essentially the same movement. You maybe just wanna hold it and really squeeze it um, for a few seconds longer, all right? Um, and if you have something like soup cans or anything like that, perfectly fine for you to bend your hips and go into those rows, okay? So these are a few options you have. All right, so that was our first movement for this. The next one is going to be the squat series. And once we do a set of these, we're gonna go right into those rows in the squat, rows in the squat, okay? So we're gonna do that two, two times, okay? So for the squat series, you can grab onto the strap from the actual strap, not the cushiony part, okay? We're going to be here. Now you can adjust yourself based on what you find most comfortable, okay? Walk it back, maybe a little bit easier for some of you. Walking it forward, maybe a little bit easier for some of you, okay? Essentially, the movement is still gonna be the same. Let me just move this so you can see me better. Um, we always want to think when we're squatting, feet are about shoulder width, or wider, whatever's comfortable for you apart. Okay, chest is proud, shoulders are down. You're gonna push that hip back. As that hip is going back, you wanna start bending at the knees, but make sure your hips are also pushing back. Okay, that's gonna protect your knees. So here we go. So here we go in five, four, three, two, one. So we're gonna go down into our squat, chest is proud, hips are back. You're gonna hold it for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Let's go down for five reps here. One, nice and controlled. Two, three, four, five, back up. Let's go for four reps. We're gonna hold it for four seconds at the bottom during our last rep, okay? So chest is pressed, shoulders are down, even while you're holding this, okay? So I like to kind of keep my elbow tucked in. Hip back, one. So make sure you're not dipping down, control, two, Pretend like your hamstrings are pulling you down, not gravity, okay? That's gonna help the muscle work a little bit more. Hold it here. One, two, three, four. And let's go for three reps. One, two. Dig into your feet. Three, hold it for three seconds. One, two, three and let's go for two reps one two only holding it here for two seconds yay one two and last one we got to do that one and hold it for one second back up Woo! nicely done all right 
Go into your rest and recovery position. Again, rest and recovery position is whatever you find comfortable. Sometimes people just like to chill, hang out at the on standing up. Some people like to sit down and rest and recover. Um, the purpose is to, again, bring that heart rate back down and just reconnect with your breath so you can be stronger for the next round, okay? All right, so for the next round, we're gonna go into the row. Same series, okay, the five, four, three, two, one, so the ladder, and then we're gonna go right into the squat. Same series, the five, four, three, two, one, hold and ladder, okay? So in about 10 seconds, we're going to start. So get into your row position, shoulders are down, chest is proud, rib is down towards the belly button, glutes are squeezed, and let's go into our row. Control on the way down. Remember, you want to think your shoulder blades are pulling you. Three, not so much your arms, although the arms will help because they're your stabilizers. Four, hold this last one for five, four, three, two, one. And let's go for four reps. One, two, three, four. Hold this for four seconds. One, two, three, Four. Make sure you bring your neck back. I noticed as I was trying to stare at the screen, I could feel my neck straining. Make sure it's back so you're not straining it. Let's hold this for three seconds. One, two, three. Let's go for two more reps here. One, two. Hold that for two seconds. One, two. Last rep and relax. All right, we're gonna go into the squat series. If you need to take a break, absolutely fine. Take your break. If you don't, then you can go ahead and join me right now. So here we go. We're gonna hold it at the bottom for five seconds, whatever squat stands you like. Again, push that hip back, bend the knees at the same time. Pretend like the hamstrings are pulling you down. Hold this position. Three, two, one, here we go. So we're gonna do five reps. One, control on the way down. Two, three, four. Hold it at the bottom for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up, let's go for four reps here. Hip back, knees bent. One, hamstrings are pulling you down, not gravity. Two, so slow it down. Three, four, four seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go for three reps here, nice and controlled. One, make sure you're breathing. Two, use your breath work to guide your tempo. Three, hold, three, two, one. Let's go for two more. Well, essentially three more, but hold for two seconds. Two, one, and last one. Hold, relax, yay, rest and recover. So this was our second round. We're gonna do one more round, so we can be doing a total of three rounds of both of these movements. Give yourself a nice recovery period. Breathe into your belly and gently breathe out. That's gonna help you bring that heart rate back down.
it is burning in this house. I'm actually visiting my parents. My mom wasn't feeling well, so I came today. And before starting the class, I actually forgot to turn on the air downstairs. So I'm burning up and there's no fan here. The fan is there, but there's no door there for me to attach this suspension strap. But working through it, it's actually not that bad. I think it's just because I'm moving. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go back into those um, rows. So bring yourself back. And again, I don't know if you noticed, but during my last movement for this, I adjusted myself halfway through some of the reps where I felt like this was a little bit easier. So then I challenged myself by walking it down a little bit lower. So it's perfectly fine. Take a, take a quick second and once you feel a little more comfortable, you can make it a little bit more challenging for you. All right, so here we go. We're going to go into our rows. So one, remember we're gonna hold it at the top for five seconds. Two, here we go, three, four, five. Let's hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Let's go for four reps here. Remember, lead with your chest, okay? Not with your face. Think about your chest is leading as you're rowing. Three, shoulders down and back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Hold here for four seconds. Three, two, one. One, let's go for three reps. One, two, three. Let's hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Let's go for two reps. One, two, hold for two seconds. And last one, hold and relax. All right, so the next movement we're going to do is we're gonna go right into our squat. Here we go. Remember, five reps and then hold. Hips back, let those hamstrings pull you down. One, nice and controlled. Two, chest is proud, hips are moving back. Three, as you sit down into that squat, gradually. Four, here we go. Last one, we're gonna hold that. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Let's go for four reps. One, two, three, Four, hold this position for four seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go for three reps. One, two, three. Hold for three seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go for two reps. One, two, oops. I got to hold that. <laughs> hold for two seconds. One, two, last one. Last rep, hold it for a second. And relax, go into your rest and recovery. We're gonna go into our cool down. Let me move you guys back this way. All right, hope you enjoyed this. And Roxy, if you, Roxy, if you missed the first two movements, um, you can definitely go back and um, look over this video. I'm gonna post it in the, in the Facebook group. So you can definitely continue after this cool down and do those two movements. Um, it's gonna be a lot of like hip work, okay? So here we go. We're going to go into, just gonna give our um, hips a nice little rotation. Okay, so you're gonna get sit in this 90-90 position. Let me lift this down so you can see me a little bit better, maybe. Uh, maybe not. All right, let's do this. 
So 90-90 position. This um, hip and knee is gonna be in line. Knee and ankle is gonna be in line, just like that. Same with the other one in the back. You're gonna bring your hands back behind you. Spine is nice and tall. You're gonna pretend like your feet are glued to the ground and you're gonna lift the knee up glued to the ground and you're gonna drop it to the opposite side. I'm working with a very narrow area here, so pardon me. Rotate here. Rotate. So what we're doing here is we're going into some internal external rotation of that hip joint, especially after going into some of those squat positions. Um, we can feel kind of tight here. This is going to help you loosen that up, okay? Let's do one more on each side. Here. Alright, so you can stay in this position if you'd like. If you don't like that, then you can stand up and do this next movement we're gonna do, or you can be on your knees if you want to, like this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna go into some um, protraction and retractions with our back, okay? So nice tall spine. You're going to push your shoulder blades away around those shoulders like you're pushing into an imaginary wall in front of you and then open up your chest and bring the shoulders down and back. Again, push away, so you're going into protraction, you're letting the shoulder blades away from each other, away from the spine, and then now you're bringing them back together against that spine. Breathe in and breathe out, so breathe out when you're pushing it away. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. This is a great time to think about that intention we set at the beginning of our workout. Be proud of yourself for moving your body and getting ready to take on the rest of the evening. Last one. And relax. And I hope you enjoyed the workout. Um, I will be back on next Wednesday. We will actually be doing more kettlebell work next Wednesday, so I will definitely post more about that in the, um, in the Facebook group. Um, so it'll be more so a kettlebell workout. So if you have a kettlebell, then yay, bring that in. If you don't, perfectly fine. Um, and if you prefer to do TRX, let me know and I can always alternate some of that like each week, okay? Um, hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, leave me a message or you can send me a message on the DM. Have a good evening. Bye.